Alright guys, hey guys, welcome back to another Arrowverse Recap. Today's Arrowverse Recap is going to be all the episode 10s. If you don't know what I do in this series, you're fucking dumb. Because this is all the episode 10s, and if you don't know what I do in this series, then you're stupid. Probably shouldn't too much my head now. But anyway, to start us off, we're going to be talking about Supergirl. The title of this episode is called Legion of Superheroes. The reason this is called Legion of Heroes so, in the last episode, Supergirl got knocked out by trying to fight Rain. And, so, um, Supergirl is in a coma, and then, uh, mon -El wakes up this guy called Brainiac 5, but the Legion calls them him Brainy. And, um, he's, tr he's there to help Kara wake up from this coma, but... The cool thing about Brainiac 5 is that he can be in the mind world and in the real world at the same time. So it gives us two stories. One with Supergirl and Brainiac 5. And then another one with Rain, Alex, John, and the Legion of Heroes. Um. So... Um, the Awakening um, is what Rain's new thing is to be. It, it's it's to take down all the sinners, and so she so she knows that empathy is a sin. So whatever empathy means, I don't know what it means. Um, and so that well, whatever it means, it's the justice of the world. And so later in the episode, when she goes trying to take out of a, a prison, she. Alex knows that she's going to take out every single prisoner and every single cop, too. And so, yeah. Um, Coville comes back. Coville comes back, and he knows everything. And when when she's trying to take down the prison, when she's at the prison, when she's at the police station trying to take down every single person, Coville's like, Spare me, yeah, and so he stays alive, and so yeah, Colville is alive. Um, so in the future, um, there's these things called the blade, and there was the key to stopping the blade, but the blade could stop anything, and then they then they put the DNA to stop blade inside of every single person of the Legion of Superheroes. So they cannot die until they get into the future, back to the future where they came from. So they can't die or they lose. Um, yeah, because the 20th, the 20th century lost all of its history and that's the DNA that's inside of them. Um, um, so Kara's comeback um, when she wakes up when she, okay so how she actually how she actually got out of the coma is that she found a picture of her cat Sparky she found herself and so when she found herself that's when she woke up from the coma and that's when she took down Rain and then at the end of the episode Rain is like I'm sorry I lost but I need more people I need help because she had help. I need help. Boom. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I need help. And so it's going to be... I don't know what the next episode's got for us. But hopefully it's going to be an epic battle between Rain's team and Supergirl's team. Let's go. And the catch... The quote from that episode was Alex saying, Never underestimate Supergirl. All right. All right. So. Okay. Um. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um. Next is Flash, which this episode is called Trial of the Flash, even though it's Barry Allen only being testified against. Um. Cecile is helping Barry through is her lawyer throughout this whole thing. Um, um, trial and villain. Okay, so, yeah. 
there's while the trial is going on, there's this threat. Um, in this episode, he calls him. They call him Fallout because. What Fallout does is give off radiation all around him. And ra Fallout doesn't even know he has his power until he bumps into one girl and he sees himself turning green. Like, he doesn't even know what's going on. Um, yeah, Sings testified as well. Um, Ralph and Joe ha get, get evidence and place evidence. Well, actually, they don't place evidence, but uh, Ralph talks Joe out of placing evidence, and so yeah. And if he, and if Fallout gives off too much radiation, he becomes a meta bomb, which will just blow up and blow up a lot of things and places. So. If you guys remember from episode one, if you guys have ever even seen episode one, they've brought a lot of references from first two episodes in this episode. Um, so Barry's getting testified against, and he's like, "Your Honor, I didn't do anything. I did not kill anyone." And that's an episode one line. Um, Okay, so during before we got a sentence, he talked to Devo, and when you're talking to Devo, that's not a, entirely a good thing. And so he's like, "I just want to see you suffer," or something like that. I don't know. But he has to spend a lifetime in jail now, and so. So, yeah, Barry gets a new ability. I'm not going to tell you what it is because you guys have to see the episode to find out what his new ability is. But here is a little explanation for it. Um, Caitlin is going to come in and tell everyone that he's the Flash. But something happens. Barry uses a new ability. Talks her out of it. And the quote of this episode is Sing saying, Barry's one of the good ones. And that he goes to danger to protect the other people. And yeah. Earth 15, Death Earth, Dead Earth. Okay, next we have episode one of Black Lightning. Now, this is going to be weird because I got to mix like episode one of Black Lightning together and episode 11's of... The next episode's next week, and then I gotta mix episode 10 of Legends in with everything, and so it's just gonna be crazy and wacky and everything fun now. Um, so this episode is of Black Lightning is called The Resurrection. So it's been nine years since Black Lightning has ever been around, um, but... Yeah, um, so he's going back home, and he gets pulled over by the police because... Okay, so he's black, and there's just gonna be a whole lot of black history about this crap, and I, it's gonna be awkward to watch a new series for the first time. It's just gonna be really weird. Um, so, um, Jennifer. Jennifer, okay, so the characters are Jeff, which is Black Lightning, um... Anissa, which is one of his daughters, and Jennifer, which is also another daughter, and then Gamby, which is his kind of like Cisco, Caitlin type of person, and then his Lian, Lean, which is his ex-wife, because they showed us some clips of him being a guy. They showed him. They showed us some origin story things in this episode. That's that's the cool thing, and yeah. Um, so the threat of this episode is called the 100, and that's the club that Jennifer goes to while not being at this school party thing. Jennifer goes to this cl club called the 100, and she parties, she meets a guy, which was a bad dude, and so later in the episode, he tries to talk to her when he's at school, he tries to pull out a gun, and so, yeah, 
And also, later in that episode, um, we figure out that, um, okay, so there's this one dude, I forgot his name right off of my top of my head, I can't think of it, and he stopped him once, and he stopped a couple things, but then Black Lightning just disappeared, and so, now Black, now that Black Lightning's back, dude. It, okay, to be honest, I kind of am excited for this series because it's a new hero and it's a new hero that I've already grown to love. And I've only seen one episode, man. Um, okay, so the 100 gang equals Lala and Will, which Lala is Levant, Levant which is a very bad dude, is, is a very bad father to his son. Um, and so... When he's going to save his daughters because they got kidnapped by Lala and Will, um, he gets shot, and so his new he gets a new suit which is also bulletproof. Um, oh, the dude that I was talking about that is the leader of that 100 gang. His name is Tobias. Tobias is back after nine years because nine years ago. Black Lightning stopped him, and so he's pissed off that Black Lightning is back. Um, and this, at the end of the end of the episode, and this gets some powers, I'm not going to say what exactly happens, but you'll just have to watch the episode to find out. Um, uh, Gamby knew Jeff, Jeff when he was tw only 12 years old. Um, Jefferson goes print. printing, printing, I don't know, uh, rage activates his power, so if he gets super mad, he'll boom, charge you up. Mm, yeah, I think that's all I got for this episode, or for this thing. Um, the quote of this episode is Jeff. I've saved more lives as the principal of this school than I have as Black Lightning. I mean, the, yeah, no, I had less on the card, but there was more in the line that I just couldn't fit on uh, here. Um, yeah, okay, next episode, or next thing, is Arrow. So, in this episode of Arrow, this episode is called Divided. Um, the reason this is called Divided is because in the last episode, a lot of things went on, trust went on, and they're like, we can't trust you, Oliver, and then they split up, and they're still split up after the end of this episode, and that, that's what I hate, I don't want to see heroes fighting against each other, Civil War, but even even though Civil Civil War was a good movie because they were both friends, they were fighting for two sides. But in the Arrowverse, it's trust. It's not like two different sides of a debate, and it's not two different. This is two different teams de be being denied by trust. Um, Kingdom wants a, a, a port that is super secret that. People know that the ships come in, but the ships don't leave. Or stuff comes in, but ships don't come in. I don't know, but Caden just wants this part for some reason, probably for his big ass plan or whatever. And so later in the episode, Curtis finds out that the reason that a, pe a person got found on his team and got testified for because Curtis found s something recorded by Caden James. Okay, okay, actually, there's a, s okay, so there's signal interference in the base and they've been tracking them for years, or not years, for days, and so that's probably how. So this is why Watson all is only t testifying against the team because Watson is working with Caden, Caden is working with Watson, and Caden had stuff in that base, that means Watson is working with Caden. Um, yeah, so there was a signal interference at the base because it was echo echoing, and so that's when they figure out, 
look, shit, we've been bugged, and we've been bugged for days. We need to tell the team about this, because they, their identities are out there. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of notifications. Okay, um, so, um, what the fuck, okay, so, so, Arrow comes down to try to fight this guy, but he only needed to get his attention, and he was like, there's the Batman reference, and he was like, don't you ever want to get a website or a spotlight in the sky? With an arrow on it. And, yeah. Renee gets closer to his kid, which is a good thing. And then, Vigilante also gets closer with Diana. But then, when Oliver and... When Oliver's trying to take him down by himself, he figures out that, that there's a team. And then, Diggle is like, if they have a team, why don't we get a team? And then they try to talk to him, and then it fails, and they're like, you denied our trust. And, yeah. And Vigilante is working with Caden, and if you guys didn't know that already. Um, and so they tell him, and then she gets pissed, and then she gets knocked out. And then his hand's bleeding. And so now we don't know if he's still alive, because in the last episode, Caden, or in this episode, Caden was talking to him, and so I don't even know if he's alive anymore. <laughs> um, oh yeah, Vigilante and Diana, they were hanging out, they were dating, but she didn't know, at this time, she didn't know that she was working with Caden. <coughs> Ow. Ow. Okay, next. Curtis and Felicity are helping John trying to fix his tremor. At the end of the episode, he gets his, he gets back. He cut, he catches gun. He cocks it, and we don't know if he can shoot what. So he has a second. He has now it's two people versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A lot more people because the Bratva has a lot of people. I'm not saying Brock was over there. But, so, since they had a signal interference at their first base, they go to the second base, which also has a signal interference, and that's how he gets taken down the first second time. And so, here's a cool thing. Um, bad guy, okay, so, backing up, the bad guys are starting to turn themselves in because they're scared about Caden's team. Um, okay, so Thea comes back and she starts talking to Quentin, um, new ba new new team, new base. So the team got a new base. Um, okay, yeah, no, I said then. They try to surprise attack Caden, but it fails miserably. But Arrow gets out, and so does everyone else. Um, okay, so while in this battle, he gets pinned. At, or he's trying to fight them off, and so they they use the T spheres as a remote control thing, and she was like, "Hey, is this easier or harder than Halo?" And he was like, "Oh, way easier." Um. And they can't find Caden until they find a secret. They somehow find something. And they want to surprise attack him, but that doesn't work. Obviously. And so, the threat of this episode is Team Caden James. Caden, I put Team in front of it because it's now in the corner. And, Kate, because, listen to this. Caden James' team. Does that sound cool? No, but now listen. Team Caden James. How does that sound? Yeah. So, so, at the end of this episode, we find out that there's two, two teams, one is with Arrow and Diggle, Spartans, Spartan. but then I also watch a trailer from a couple that are, that for the rest of the season, 
And it looks like the heroes, the newbies, are going to suit up and try to take down Kaden himself. And in the trailer, in that trailer that I've been talking about, Arrow says, you guys could have killed yourselves. And he also pulls an arrow on Wild Dog, I re on Renee. And I really hope that doesn't happen. And speaking of Renee, great segue. Renee. Um, the quote for this episode is Renee saying, saying to his daughter that no one will ever take you again. And that I kind of want to make them all like memorable and like deep meaning. Like, never underestimate Supergirl. Like that's tough. Um, Flash is or Barry's one of the good ones. Like he's a good guy. Trust him. Um, I've said, yeah, like that. See, those they're, they're all just serious, man. I just want to figure out things that are serious, not funny anymore. Or I might have funny, all funny and all serious again. Or too funny, too far. I don't know. But when Legends comes back, I will be doing them again. Hopefully I can just speed this up because I only have 30 minutes on this thing. And it's 20 something right now. And so I might, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might record two videos on this day and upload both of those videos on the same day. One will be called Black and Lightning Recaps and the other one will be called Arrowverse Recaps. Because Black Lightning really isn't a part of the Arrowverse. Oh shit. Yeah, so I don't know. Black Lightning isn't really a part of the Arrowverse, but it's on the CW, so it's going to be part of the Arrowverse at some point. But it's not a part of the Arrowverse. I fucked up. Big time. Wee. Okay. Peace.